this video is to demonstrate functionality for customizable buttons extension for VTiger. Let's open up our test record and you can see right away that we have quite a few buttons added. First, if you click on a button, it will bring up a fields that are configured in each button and from there you can simply update or add new information and hit save and that will automatically save on the record that button is on. Next, another nice information functionality that it has is you can see the incomplete billing address and if I were to click on it and completely fill out the address the button will then disappear and that's also configured as a conditional logic for each button and we have another one shipping address if I were to fill that out the button would disappear as well as the billing address did. Next let's take a look at our lead example. On leads, I have very similar buttons added as a organization, but in this case, I have email materials, and this can work as a checklist. Say if you have things that you need to do while follow up with the lead or a contact, you can add those fields to the pop-up and then have users go through and update as they make progress. And again, I go back to the pop-up. This has been updated. Say a workflow got executed, dates updated, and email sent to the customer. Next, another good example we have configured with projects. If we open up our project, we have our target date, we have our schedule. If I were to click on it, it tells us what the project schedule is, and it's an easy way to view the information grouped for a certain purpose. And next, we have a few of our missing fields, same as an organization. Say if the permit is missing, it'll give user this clearly visible button They'll have to click on it. If the permit's acquired, hit yes, select the date. Once they hit save, the button goes away. And this way, it'll be a lot easier to maintain the data with having this ability to quickly update any information that is missing. Same thing for the contract. If I were to go in, update, and save, and the button then goes away. Next, let's take a look at the actual configuration for buttons. So it's under configuration, CRM settings, and then under other settings, we have our buttons. And you can see we have quite a few buttons added for each module just for testing purposes. So now let's take a look at the one with the organization billing address so we can see how the conditional logic works and so on. So we have our module, you select and put in the button title. You have your icon that you can select that will be applied to the button. You can do your color. Uh, you put the sequence off the button and either the button is active or inactive. Next, we have our fields area. This is where you can select the fields to be displayed on the pop-up. And we want to have our billing address fields. And last, we have our condition which is optional and basically here what we're saying if any of these five fields is empty we want to see the button as long as those fields are still empty we'll see the button and once they get filled out the button will disappear and again going back to our list of buttons and you'll be able to create as many buttons as needed and display the information required thank you